I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today I will be reviewing Stormfront, the first book in the Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. So, let's get to it. The Dresden Files, book number one. Well, I've met Jim Butcher a couple times. In fact, I've got some of his books signed upstairs, and I've even done some uh, Comic-Con panels with Jim at various Comic-Cons. I really like the guy. Uh, he's fun to hang out with. Great author. Let's get to his first Dresden Files book, which, by the way, was his first ever book published, Stormfront, here in the year 2000. So this was the book that got his career off to a start. Uh, if you're wondering what it's about, most of you probably already know what it's about, but if you don't, it's kind of like a um, hard-boiled, noirish mystery series. Kind of think of... Uh, Dashiell Hammett or Raymond Chandler, uh, some of those old uh, detective novels set in the 50s, you know, like the Maltese Falcon. Consider, picture the Maltese Falcon um, or the Big Sleep, but with Harry Potter magic in it. <laughs> That's kind of what you got. You know, it, the uh, Harry Dresden novels are uh, mystery novels. Each one is a self-contained mystery novel, all of them with a kind of an overarching story that kind of ties them all together. You don't need to read them in order or you don't need to read them all at the same, all of them. You can you can kind of come into the series here and there and, and still enjoy it. It is best though to read uh, books one through. I think there's 14 or 15 out now. Uh, if, you like, if you like mystery novels like Michael Connelly's Harry Bosch or um, you know Robert Parker's uh, Spencer novels, you know, these are going to be right up your alley, kind of like with an X-Files twist to them. Uh, even more, more, more magical than X-Files, I would say, you know, more supernatural stuff. Uh, you know, almost bordering on Harry Potter type magic for the hard-boiled mystery lovers and the Harry Potter levels. This is going to be right up your alley if you, if you love stuff like that. Well, I am going to get to some of the uh, things that I love about this book. And first of all, you have to say it's the characters. Um, you know, Harry Dresden, humor is the big selling point of uh, this whole series. Harry Dresden, we see the, uh, every mystery through the eyes of Harry Dresden. He's got a, he's got a very sharp wit, uh, much like a Lee Child, uh, uh, Jack Reacher novel. You know, he's always got a sharp wit to him. Uh, he gets himself into trouble with his mouth. It's, uh, it's fun. It's a fun series. It's a fun beginning to the series, uh, this novel Stormfront. And, uh... You know, Harry Dresden isn't the only character in it. You know, it kind of starts like your typical um, 1950s hard-boiled detective novel where the uh, the detective's just chilling in his office and in walks a beautiful lady and says, hey, I need you to help find my husband, my missing husband. You know, pretty cliche beginning, but I think, I think Jim Butcher was going for cliche right out of the get-go so he could subvert all of those sort of mystery tropes as he went along and boy does he subvert them and turn them into something really fun here you know because not only does the uh, beautiful woman walk into his office and ask him for uh you know uh help finding her husband uh she also knows that he's kind of like specializes in supernatural things um and a lot of people in and set in chicago a lot of people in chicago don't realize they're supernatural kind of like harry potter and the muggles there's kind of like a supernatural magical world going on behind the scenes of our real world and harry po and uh harry uh, harry dresden in this book even at the beginning of his um in the first chapter you know we we get this we get this line kind of this will kind of tell you what the book is about a little bit he, this is this is how he advertises his uh detective agency is harry dresden slash wizard lost items found paranormal investigations Consulting, advice, reasonable rates, no love potions, endless purses, parties, or other entertainment. That's how he advertises himself. And people walk up and are like, you really a wizard? And he's like, eh, you know, wait and find out, <laughs> kind of. Uh, so that's the way it starts. Beautiful woman walks into his office, says, hey, I need help finding my husband. He's been missing. And from there, everything snowballs into crazy detective wizardry magic where we get to see you know the we get to introduce to the mafia hitmen vampires warlocks fairies uh magic 
It's a, it's all kind of a little comic booky in its in its in its feel. I mean, this is this novel's not taking itself seriously in any way. You know, we it, it's all it it's all kind of tongue in cheek, but there is sort of an R-rated element to parts of it. Um, you know, and I guess if I had one small criticism, it's kind of like the R-rated elements so mixed with the humor. Oftentimes, don't mix. You know, there's a scene early on where uh, Harry comes across a pretty gruesome murder, and he's cracking wise cracks throughout of it throughout the whole thing and then he vomits because he's so disturbed a uh, little you know minor 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 little thing that you know kind of sets you out of the story a little bit but overall these are great and and not only that but we're introduced to some other characters that i do believe will be following throughout the series like um his friend lieutenant karen murphy who uh is a, a police officer in chicago who knows that he specializes in in magical uh investigations and so she calls calls on him a lot to help her in her investigations much to the chagrin of her police department so we're battling with a lot of different things here and uh a lot of different tensions between harry and his magical world and his real world and the police and the magical world and the real world and uh the the various cases that he that he sets off on on these adventures throughout these novels uh, the one this this novel has several different plot lines, not just the missing husband, but Lieutenant Murphy is also trying to get Harry to help her solve a murder mystery of uh, two dead bodies that she finds in a hotel room where, um, you know, it's the the the, the people are dead and it looks like their hearts have exploded out of their chest and she's like, well, how do how is how are they killed, you know, how does how do you kill someone by exploding their heart and so Harry Harry uh, Dresden has to uh, solve the mystery. Uh, that, that's the basic setup. I do not do plot spoilers in here, and I try to keep the plot points very minimal in my reviews, just so you can discover a lot of the magic of of these books on your own. I just like to gush on and on, I, on on books that I love and series that I love and authors that I've met and respected that have uh, been friends to me. And so I want to give a huge props to Stormfront and the Harry Dresden books. I will be reviewing each one at a time throughout you know the next couple of years. Just like with my Stephen King novels, and I'm probably going to do Wheel of Time and Malazan Book of the Fallen. I'm probably going to do a lot of them. You'll get to be getting a lot of reviews from me. And we're going to do the Harry Dresden book first here of the Harry Dresden books. Solid 8 out of 10. I, I rate, you know, clearly 1 through 10. This is a solid 8 out of 10. I can't imagine anybody not liking this book or this series as a whole. And so I highly re recommend Jim Butcher's Harry Dresden novels. Please, you can read them anywhere. You can jump in to the series any place you like. I would suggest Stormfront, the first one, and read through as you go. Stormfront, 8 out of 10, Jim Butcher, the first Harry Dresden novel. Go get it. It's good if you haven't already got it.